guitarists. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac. This is such a fun song to play so make sure you have your guitar ready because we are about to jump into the lesson. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your guitar is in standard tuning and that you have a capo on the third fret of your guitar. Now this is just going to ensure that we are playing in the same key as the studio recording. So the first chord we're going to need is a D major chord. Next up we need a D sus2 and all we need to do for this chord is take our second finger off of the D major chord. So that open E string is ringing through. We need an A major chord. We're also going to need an A sus4 and all we're going to do is shimmy our third finger into the third fret on the B string. We also need a G major chord which I'm going to be playing with four fingers. So that just means our third and fourth fingers will be played on the B and E string in the third fret. And the final chord we need is a bar chord, it's a B minor chord. But for this song I'm actually going to be using the open chord version of a B minor. So all we need to do here is instead of playing a full bar chord with our first finger, all we're going to do is just place our first finger into the second fret on the high E string. And we strum this from the D string down. This is just a much easier alternative if you don't know how to play bar chords or if you're just not feeling in the mood to practice your bar chords. Otherwise you can use a full bar chord. Hey Stella guitarists, are you ready to take your guitar playing skills to the next level? I'm so excited to announce that doors to my Let's Level Up guitar course are officially open. This is your chance to master the fretboard, nail those bar chords and to finally play with the confidence that you have always dreamed of. Whether you are stuck in a rut or you're just wanting to push your skills a little bit further, this course is for you. So you seriously do not want to miss out on all the fun. All the information is linked below this video, so let's level up together. So let's jump into learning how to play the verse of the song. It's pretty straightforward. We need three rounds of the D major chord. We're then going to go to the A sus4 chord. From here we're going to have three rounds of G major. And then one round of the D major chord. Now what I want you to notice when transitioning between these chords is that our ring finger is going to be anchored down for every single one of those chords. So let's try that again. We're going to start on the D major for three rounds. We then transition to A sus4, keeping our ring finger down. We're then going to go, go on to our G major chord, which is going to be a four-fingered G. So we have our ring finger still in place for three rounds of the G and then back to our D major chord. Ring finger still in place. So let's give this verse a playthrough with some singing starting on that D major chord. A one, two, three, four and D. Loving you D. Isn't the D chord changed to the A sus4 and to the G. How can I G again ever change G? that ID and it starts again if I could D baby I D you the A sus4 G how can I G when you won't G from the D now if you are enjoying this lesson which I really hope you are please could I ask you to like this video and why not join the Stella Guitarists community by subscribing to my channel. I release videos just like this 
every single week just for you to help you become a stellar guitarist. So I hope you subscribe and I hope you come and join our community. Right, let's get back into the tutorial. The second part of the song we're gonna to learn today is the chorus. And the chords are gonna be up on the screen for you. We have one round of the B minor chord, one round of G, and then two rounds of A. And then this gets repeated again. To the G, into the A, for two rounds. And if we add some singing, B minor. You can G to the A chords. And A chord again. Back to B minor. You can G it to the A. And A again. One more time. You can G to the A chords. And then this is going to lead us right back into the verse. Now, most of us watching this lesson here today are wanting to learn this so that you can play along with the record, or you may be wanting to sing and strum along to the song or perform this for your family and friends. So as you can see, the chords in the song are relatively easy but it's the rhythm of the song that really can catch you out. And if you listen to the original recording really carefully, you'll be able to hear that there are a number of different guitar parts being played that create the sound that is so iconic of the song. Now, the reality is that you are just one person and you have one guitar. So the goal of the next part of this lesson is to help you learn how to play the song in the easiest and simplest way possible so that you can play along and sing along to the record if you'd like to. And in order to do this, the easiest and simplest strumming pattern that works really well in the song is our favorite pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now this is a strumming pattern that works really well with the song. It goes really nicely with the lyrics and you're not going to struggle bringing your voice and your guitar part together when you use the strumming pattern. Now each chord that you see in the music is going to get one round of the strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up. And we count that one, two, and, and four, and. So let's do a quick demo of the first verse and the chorus using this new strumming pattern. So we're gonna be starting on that D major chord and it's gonna sound something like this. A one, two, ready, go. D. D again. D again. And change to the A sus four. And to G. How can I? G again. Ever change G chord to the D. D. If I could. D. Maybe I. So my advice to you here would be to spend as much time as you can working on those chords and the strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up. Really spend time trying to get the sounding as smooth as possible. So go ahead and play along with the original track. Try adding some singing if you can. And once you feel confident and comfortable doing that, then you can move on into the next section of this lesson where we are going to be adding some embellishments. So in this section of the lesson, we are going to be looking at the embellishments that you hear being played during the verse and the solo. This is probably the part of the song that most people associate with Go Your Own Way. So I'll do a quick demo of what we are going to be learning today.
So what we'll do is first start out by working on the chords and the rhythm. So the chords that we're going to need in the first section are a D sus2 chord and our D major chord. And what we're going to be doing is alternating back and forth between these two chords. So we're going to be starting on a D sus2 chord and we're going to do this section all down strums. Okay, so we have D sus2 to a D, back to D sus2, and back to D. So practice this first, getting the rhythm right and changing back and forth between those two chord shapes. And you're going to notice that my middle finger is being lifted up and down, and that's when you'll be able to know when to play that chord. So we're going to start with your middle finger lifted up for the D sus2. Then you're going to put it down. Then you're going to take it away. And you're going to put it down again. Now that is one round of the rhythm. And we're going to do that three times. That's once. That's twice. And then that is our third time before we change to the A sus4 chord. And we're gonna be playing just one down strum for the time being on that A sus4. Next thing is we're going to be going to the G major chord. And for this, we're also going to be adding some embellishments. So we're gonna start by having our first finger lifted up off of the string. And our rhythm is going to be exactly the same. Lift it off, put it back down, lift it off, and put it back down again. And we're going to play that three times as well. So one, two, and our third time. And now notice how I'm playing mostly on my bass strings. This way we can really hear that embellishment coming through. Or changing to our D chord for one strum. So I'm going to play through that whole section nice and slowly. You can play along with me and we're going to just be using down strums with that rhythm. Starting on the D sus2. A one, two, three, four. One more time. And to the A sus4. We change the G. to D. Now you can absolutely get away with playing the song just like that. If this is what is comfortable for you, play along to all the verses and the guitar solo with what we have just learned. However, if you want to get the real feel of what is happening in the song, then we are going to need to play a syncopated strumming pattern. So this pattern is going to be starting with an up strum and it sounds like this. Up, up, down, up, up, down. Now that is one round of the pattern. Up, up, down, up, up, down. Now up on the screen, what you will see is a chord like the D major with a star next to it. And what this means is you are going to be doing one round of the rhythm using that strumming pattern. So one round of the strumming pattern with the rhythm is going to sound something like this. Up, up, down, up. take that to the A chord, the A sus4 chord, we're going to play the same thing. Up, up, down, up, up, down. And we'll take it to the G. We're going to be playing up, up, down, up, up, down. And then back to the D major. Up, up, down, up, up, down. So this is really quite tricky and it is going to take some practice and coordination of course, 
But if you start off really slowly and build up your speed, then eventually muscle memory should kick in. So one more time, this is what we are going for with the chord sequence when we're playing through this riff. It's going to sound something like this. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> Spend some time now practicing through those embellishments. Make sure that you're having fun with it. And when you are ready, I am really looking forward to a play along coming up next. So have your guitar ready and let's get into the play along. A one, two, three, four. Loving you isn't the right thing to do. How can I ever change things? So that is how you play Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac on the guitar. If you enjoyed this lesson, I know you're going to love the lesson being suggested to you on the screen. So go check it out. And until next week, I will see you in the next lesson. Have a really great day. Bye.